Do you see this can? And do you see these pouches? Do you know what this is about to do? I'm about to hook y'all up. I'm about to make some salmon croquettes. Yes, I am. Salmon croquettes. And I believe your family will enjoy. So stay tuned and watch this video and see how I get this put together. Yeah, boy. In the words of John with a spoon. All right, so we're about to start out by draining the juice off of our salmon. Now, this juice is what we are going to keep because it is going to give these salmon croquettes very good flavor without adding anything extra for moistness. So what we're doing right now is when you get salmon in a can, you have to clean them and they usually have skin and bones and sometimes a little fat from the salmon. Now if you do the packs, you don't have to worry about all of that, but I like to mix the two. So this is some red sockeye salmon and this gives it some really death flavor. And as you can see, I am just removing some of the bones from the salmon, some of the skin, and you wanna make sure that you do a very good job in taking your time and removing all of the fat and impurities from it. And you can see how clean that looks. Now it is ready to add the other portion of salmon. This is pink salmon, and it's the star kit, so I'm not a spokesperson, but this is just to speed up the process with the whole salmon preparation. And you can use as many packs as you like. If you want, you can use just the straight packs of the salmon, or you can use just the straight cans of the salmon. Now, in this process, I probably should have used a spoon to kind of help spoon out the rest, but I took my time. So, right here, I am adding some dill, and you can add whatever seasonings you like, but I love to have some dry dill with my salmon. I'm using a little lemon pepper, because lemon pepper also gives this dish a very, very good flavor. And I'm going to add some of my Caribbean traditional fish seasoning. If you've seen in my salmon and rice video, I will put the link in the description box below on how I make that. It just gives salmon such good flavor. I'm adding just a pinch of seasoning salt, not too much. It's about a good teaspoon of each seasoning that I'm using, I'm using in this recipe because I am going to use some saltine crackers. You can use flour or breadcrumbs, whatever you like. I like to use a little bit of crackers. This gives it good flavor and it makes it have that little filler that we use to make these salmons, you know, full of flavor and just give it a nice hearty texture. And so now I am going to cut up my bell peppers and onions using my brand new knife here. I have a knife set that was given to me by a lady that subscribed to my channel and she ordered a cake for me and she said, you know what, 
I don't do a lot of cooking, so I have a knife set that I would like for you to have because I figured you can use it. And of course, I had to premiere it in my video. So this knife is so good. I mean, it really chopped up my bell peppers and onions really, really small and fine. You don't want them too big and crunchy when you fry up your salmon, but this is mainly to give it some good flavor. So right here, you see me chopping up my onion and I'm taking my time and just chopping it up really, really small. You want really fine pieces of your onions with this. Now, if you don't like to use onions, feel free to go ahead and use onion flakes, onion powder, and with really clean hands, with what the ingredients that I've already used and the spices, you wanna go ahead and just kinda massage it and mix that all really, really well. Now, if you don't wanna get your hands involved, go ahead and use a spoon. I forgot to mention, you do need an egg. The egg is going to be the binder in your salmon croquettes. And you wanna mix this very well, like I said, using really clean hands. And then in a separate dish, once you get your salmon mixture all combined well, now it's time for the breadcrumbs. This is going to give those salmon croquettes a really nice crunch on the outside. That juice from the salmon that we had in the can is going to help it retain its moistness in the salmon croquette. So you want to just take your time and of course bread it like you would do chicken or like you would do your fish. Once you have that all nicely breaded, you go ahead and just do the rest of it. You make as many cakes as you can that you have according to your recipe. And this is just something that I know your family will enjoy if you love really good Santa croquettes. My family loves them. This is one of their favorite dishes to have with a side of rice or even some beans. So as I was putting my little cakes together, I had my oil, and this is just some vegetable oil. I had it heating up in my skillet, and you wanna go ahead and add one at a time. You don't wanna add too many because you don't want your oil to, you know, cook down. And I let the first batch get a little extra crispy because I love my salmon really good and crispy and you want to take your time and flipping them over in your hot oil but once you get your salmon all fully cooked your family is going to love you now of course you want to make sure you have very good ventilation to get that fishy scent out and have your fans going but once you get them cooked it is ready to be served Okay, y'all, so everything is done. You saw how I did my salmon croquettes, all right? So, can't have just salmon croquettes. You gotta have rice and all that other stuff. Or if you want, you can just have salmon and rice or salmon croquettes with some grits, whatever you think your family might like. I like, we like it with rice, we like it with grits, we like it with beans, whichever. So today, we're gonna have our, I mean, just, A little corn muffin, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. got some rice, some herb butter rice. I have some herb butter rice. That would be kind of close. Just getting a little bit because I did kind of eat something earlier at the time you know, for this video. But um, for video purposes, I'm gonna show y'all. And while I was at work earlier, I had some pinto beans going in my crock pot. So I had a little quick video interrupt. But, you know, I'm going to show you this picture real quick. My pinto beans and my crock pot. Yeah, them babies were cooking all day. Nice and slow. So you want to have some pinto beans. And get a little bit of that juice from the beans. You have some juice from the beans on top of your rice. And my salmon croquettes. <gasps> Look at this. Corn muffin. Some pinto beans and rice. And my beautiful salmon croquettes. Now, you know, I ain't about to do like last time and forget. I'm 
about to get me some hot sauce. Normally I have Frank's, but this is the next best thing. If I can open it. Follow me along on this little journey of mine. I really appreciate all the love and support. I really, really do. So, I hope you all have a great and wonderful weekend. Thank you for watching and God bless.